My name's Jeff, and I love beer. I don't just mean that I love to drink it, though. I mean I'm passionate about the history of beer, how it's made, and what's in store for the future of beer. Some might call me a beer snob, but I see it a bit differently. I want to learn about all beers. It's time to go exploring in the world of beer. This is Beach City Brewery. This is the first brewery in Huntington Beach, and I've been here a few times in the past. I don't think I've quite earned regular status, but I've been here a lot. I've met the owner, I've met the beers, but now it's time for you to meet the people inside. I'm gonna go talk to Glenn, who's the owner. We're gonna meet him, we're gonna meet more beers. It's a whole lot of meeting going on, but when everything's this delicious, it's worth it. Let's go inside. Glenn, you guys are the first brewery in Huntington Beach. Uh, what made you take that leap? Oh man, after about three years of planning, I was working with Matt Johnson from Carl Strauss as a consultant to us, and I just went to pretty much every conference in the nation, talked to every owner, every brewer I could, did my research, and then me and my dad kind of took the leap last July. We were able to get a loan and put a deposit down on our equipment. That's fantastic. So this is kind of like, did you have a, a brewing background, or is this just something you wanted to do? I was home brewing. I actually learned how to home brew under Matt Johnson. He taught a local course at a college, and and we thought it would just be like some old guy that had no clue what he was doing. <laughs> Turned out that he said he was a head brewer Carl Strauss, so we actually brought a notebook to the next class and started taking notes. Good man. Pretty much we found out cleaning was the number one step, then we went from there. So yeah. home brewing led into doing something professional. That's amazing. Derek, it's a pleasure to Here's see you sir. again, because I've been here before. Absolutely. What's it been like being the head brewer for the first brewery in Huntington Beach? Busy, <laughs> very busy. Trying to keep up with demand is tough. Trying to keep up with all these styles that I'm putting on is tough. Yeah. And we've got 16 tap now, so I'm trying to keep them all full. Yeah, you guys are, I mean, every time I come in, there's more tap handles. Yeah, and I'm bugging them to get more, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the board's getting uh, bigger, it's, it's awesome. It is, uh, we got barrels going behind you, so you know, I'm looking forward to up and coming stuff. I first saw you guys at the Taste of Huntington. Yes. Delicious stuff, very excited to see you open, and now you're here, and you've got some good beer in front of us. I hope so, yes. What are we looking at? Well, in front of you, you have our Pearside Pilsner. Uh, we make a killer Pilsner. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been crushing that pretty much all summer long. Yeah? Yeah. Our Gnarly Monk. Well, there's not too many people around the area doing Belgian beers. It's like, oh, I love this Belgian. Um, like the Gnarly Monk right now, it's, that's the one that people are like, oh, what's this, what's this, so. Our Oktoberfest and our Ruski Noir, which is a Russian Imperial style. Now, so everybody knows, I've been coming here for a little bit. This is a new guy. It is, very new. And also, judging by your board up there, it looks like a very strong guy. Yeah, it's uh, coming in at 11%. Not too shabby. What's been the like the craziest thing you've gone for? Probably our Russian Imperial Stout. Took four brews to get one batch. Wow. Um, so I brewed twice to get one batch, and then two more times to get the other batch, and then I blended them together. So it was a total of like 32 man hours just to get one beer in a bottle. That's so. crazy. And it's my favorite beer on tap. It's beefy. Yeah, it's, it's beefy. It's, 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 <laughs> It's got punch. Yep. The, this one's been around for a bit, the pier side, right? Pier side, we're about to roll that into a year-round beer. Okay. Uh, we were thinking of doing just seasonal, but it's been such a great hit that we think it should be year-round, and we're actually gonna start canning it pretty soon. Canning, that's a good step. Yes. That'll be great by the pool, by the summer, that's perfect timing. <laughs> What's been, would you say, the crowd favorite? Seasonals, varieties, definitely hit. Currently, Oktoberfest and Pumpkin Ale are definitely getting sure. drunk it up pretty quick. The Ruski Noir has been a big hit. We did bottle the Ruski Noir, so that's definitely one people are buying just to age it for a couple years. We've heard some people are gonna try to do verticals. With oh, those, that'll be awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be doing yearly releases. That's gonna make you excited to hear that people are already thinking that. It's pretty intense. Yeah. So how big is the staff here? Uh, we have about 10 employees right now. A lot of them are tasting room staff. We do have two sales reps that are out there. We just recently moved into Long Beach. Uh, we were trying to stay as local as we could, but once we got every tap handle we could here, yeah. we figured we'll expand to Long Beach and we're slowly creeping up into Orange and Anaheim. Good problems. Yes, good, very problems. good problems. What do you do here? Uh, I work in distribution. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. So you're, you're spreading the Beach City love to Orange County and beyond. Yeah. Huntington <laughs> Beach. And, yeah. oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. So how has the reception been at the places you're going to to try to get this in stores? Really great. Specifically in Huntington Beach, we're very well received. You know, I do like in-store demos and stuff at, at local liquor stores and stuff. And the, the reception's been awesome. It has yeah. not been hard to get people to drink our beer. And now, it, it looks like, you know, that you've made efficient use of the space because you've got some giant fermenting tanks over there. Yes. What's your production capacity? 
fermentation side, we have about 90 barrel capacity. We have 230s and 215s. We have a two vessel, 15 barrel JBNW system, and then we have two brights, one 15 barrel bright and one 30 barrel bright. That's fantastic. And now you guys have been playing around with a Randall here and there too, doing some fun stuff? Yeah, we usually have a weekly Randall. Every Wednesday night we'll do a Randall release where we allow one of our assistant brewers to get creative with the beers that we have on tap. Uh, we just did a chai tea pumpkin ale on last Wednesday. And we've been doing some like, catering to the sorority and yes, yoga pants the pumpkin crowd. spice everything. Ugg boots. No, the, uh, those flavors do sound spice. awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, this is Dat Lupe dough. Oh, how do you like that? This is it's a great West Coast beer. Yeah. Um, hops, hops, more hops. <laughs> Bitter, but it's it's good. It's a good beer. Yeah. How long you, have you been coming to Beach City? Uh, since before they opened. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. So I was I was here while they're planning, while they're building. Um, so, so you get the inside track. I, you know, born and raised in Huntington, so maybe it gets me somewhere. In so that, that's basically your seat. Maybe. <laughs> I, they haven't engraved it yet, so. What's your experience been like being the first brewery in Huntington Beach? It was tough. We definitely paved a pathway for other breweries. The city wasn't too difficult. They were actually more open to helping us along the way. I think now that they understand what they're dealing with, it's been a little bit more open for the next guy, which was Four Sons. And I know that there's a couple more that are in planning right now, and the city's more than welcome to having them there. So what have you not done that you're looking to do? Saisons and Hefeweizens. I know people, especially in Huntington Beach, I was like, hey, where's your Hef at? Yeah. I'm like, didn't brew one yet. I'll get right. there. Right. We're also doing a Belgian quad coming up, too. So, that's Huntington Beach. It might not be the beer scene you expected, and it might just surprise you. It's family-oriented. It's community-oriented. They're making good beer, and here on Beer Snob, that's one of the most important things to us. So, from Huntington Beach, we say adios. Cheers to this. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Cheers to that. That's fine. We welcome that. <laughs>